So in terms of recommendation, if I have to start the meditation from day one, the first thing that I will do is to attend a 10 day Vipassana meditation retreat. And the reason is, this is, at least in my awareness, this is the only meditation retreat that I'm aware of, which is the most accessible and at the same time organized in a way that is most sincere, right? So if you're not aware about these retreats, basically it is a 10 day meditation retreat and they take at the day one, they take all your mobile and uh, digital distraction or communication devices and you're expected for 10 days to meditate very intensely, almost 10 hours a day in a silence. And the whole teaching is very standardized. Everything is being taught by audio and video, which is done by principal teacher who's S.N. Goenkaji who has been passed away now. So basically it doesn't matter whether you're attending in this meditation center or that meditation center. Fundamentally you are doing the same thing and learning the same thing. Only thing that really changes is basically management, right? So yeah, that's it. So I mean the first thing that I would do is to attend this meditation retreat, right? Because it also sets the benchmark really high for other experiences. And another thing is it is actually donation based, right? So it's not like nothing is being charged for it. It is like what you can afford to donate, uh, you should donate, right? So again, it makes everything very, very accessible, right? So in terms of meditation centers also, only thing that differs is basically is management, right? So if you're in the, you are in the North India, you will get the North Indian food. If you're in the South India, you will get the South Indian food. Some meditation centers are really large, so you will end up meditating with two, three hundred people in a group. Some meditation centers are small. Some centers have single rooms. Some centers have like twin rooms. In some center, you have to stay in the dormitory. But that's pretty much about like the difference between different centers. But the teachings are exactly same, right? And if you ask me which center I should go, uh, so in terms of South India, I would suggest. Bangalore is a really nice center, at least in the male side, everybody has their own room and attached washroom. So it makes it things very convenient. And also like centers are or, or the courses organized really well, in my opinion, right? So Bangalore is a good center. Trivannamala is another very good center. Mm. Dhamma Nagarjuna, it's close to Hyderabad. It's like three, four uh, hours drive from Hyderabad so it's not that accessible but I think that is also like a really nice center and the courses are organized really well I haven't done 10 day course I have done some long course there but I am sensing that would be a really nice center um, one center I would not recommend is Hyderabad center like the city Hyderabad center I have attended there a couple of courses I served one time and pretty much all the time I had like not so pleasant experience with the management. And I've seen some people left the meditation in between also because of really poor management, right? So something, I don't know if it has been improved, but if you're attending your course for first time, I would recommend not to go there. In terms of North India, Delhi center is really good. It, actually, it is in Haryana, Dhammasota. That center is really good. Jaipur center is really, really huge and really nice center. Uh, it's just there's two, three hundred people actually attend the meditation at a time and all that. But it's really well, well managed center. Um, Ahmedabad center was really nice. And there is a center in Dharamshala, which is quite popular. I think I attended there almost 10 years back. The place is nice, but there was some challenges with the government property regulation and all that, that it is really old building, but they cannot renew it because it's like a heritage building or something. I think it, it might have been changed now, but at that time, because of that, you cannot really do any construction there. Uh, in terms of accommodation, it was really complicated, right? But I think it might have changed now, so you probably have to double check. But yeah, that's that's about it, right? So, I mean, again, the meditation centers doesn't really matter that much. You can pretty much attend it anywhere. 
but in terms of quality of the retreats it is probably the first retreat i would do if i had to start with right yeah that's about it so that's that's my first recommendation if you're just starting the meditation just go and do a 10 day vipassana meditation retreat